So a husband just came back from a trip and he brought me some Sumiko Garashi remands, which I'm so, I'm so like, this man loves me so much. It's crazy. Um, I just am really, really well loved and I'll go over each of the options. They're um, food themed, which is my favorite theme of remands. And uh, Sumiko is one of my favorites. I love the little Eevee, um, the tempura shrimp, and they're just, they're fucking adorable. They're just so cute. And I like to collect remnants because they're small and I <laughs> don't have a lot of space. Um, so I will start with this one, which is called the Sumiko Garashi. Um, it's like a revolving sushi bar. There's no English on here. Some of them have English names and some of them don't. Um, it looks like this one was $15.99. And there are eight different possibilities. It is blind, so you don't know which one you're going to get. And I, um, I, they're all really cute. So, um, But remits are um, near and dear to my heart. I love them so much. All right, so I have no idea which one I've just gotten. And I'm... Oh, I could not be happier. That is a little salmon sushi. I all like sake is my favorite kind of sushi and it's got a little pudding and a little keychain toy that comes with it. I'm really, really thrilled about this. I just cannot. Um, all right. So if you were magic and had tiny little hands, then you could make this box this paper box that holds the little toy, which I'll try to show you here. It comes with a little paper box that holds the little toy. I don't have magic hands. I just sort of keep this, oh my God. And this is a stamp card for how many times you've been to their sushi restaurant, which like, what? Okay, I can't wait to see this adorable little set. Oh my God, the cuteness is ridiculous. Okay. Um, so let me get a pair of scissors. All right, so here are the things that come with it. It looks like it's a tiny, it's a tiny sushi boat. Okay, so I'm going to try to cut this as cleanly as possible with this really grimy, like, garage scissors that absolutely are not going to cut it clean, but I'll do my best. I wonder what this sticker is for. Okay, this sticker set is for the flag. And then, oh my god. All right, here's the tiny boat. And it has a tiny little blue character in the front. And it's the slatted sushi boat. Um, and there's wave details on the side of the boat. And this teeny, teeny, tiny boat. Um, and then here, okay. there are the pudding pieces, there's a pudding cup, and the actual pudding, and then there's a tiny, teeny, tiny silver spoon that goes with it. Oh, it's a super small silver spoon. And there's no, <laughs> there's a dot behind the silver spoon for, I think, the character to hold it, but there's, I did not get the character. This is such a sweet set. I just, I'm so in love right now. Um, I'm trying to be super careful because remands are ridiculous. I hope everyone's having a lovely day because I'm just having the best day right now. I've had such a day being a parent. And then husband came back from traveling and brought all these cute things with me. So there's a little pudding bowl, which is adorable. And then here is our little pudding character. Ah! And then the little pudding spoon that goes with it that has a little spot behind it for, um, for the, uh, to fit into the character. There's the gold sushi plate with a little white design on it that goes right here. And this white flag has a tiny spot over here where it goes. <laughs> this is so stinking cute. And here is the tiny little wasabi. <laughs> goes right here. 
And here is the amazing salmon. The detail on the salmon, like the rice is individually grained and the salmon is so realistic and then it does have a face on it, which is so cute. So I'm just gonna put the salmon right there. Perfect. And then it comes with this little keychain um, that's supposed to go in the tiny box that you make. And then there's like this little tiny sticker that goes on the keychain. I'm not gonna attempt any of the stickers right now because that's crazy sauce. Um, so there is my sushi salmon sumiko garashi set, which I'm gonna put right over here while I get ready to do the next one because it's, oh my God, I'm so thrilled right now. It's crazy. Okay, so there's that. And then the next one is, this one says sumiko garashi restaurant. So there is English on this one. And there's a couple of different options you can see. They're all stinking cute. You might be asking me, Judy, why are you opening toys in your garage? And to that I say, well, I have a child <laughs> and she can hear me opening toys a mile away and she will want to open toys with me. And uh, remit sets are the one set of toys that I will not open with my child because they're so tiny and delicate. And I'm like, no, absolutely not. All right, so I got the drink set which is so cute. A little drink set. Oh, and there it comes <laughs> with tea bags that you can make yourself. It's not a remit set if they don't make you make things. <laughs> All right, so there's these, um, these little tea bags that you can make yourself and like a little tea tray. And this is a drink um, adver advertisement. Um, so there's that open more than that no it's just really thick paper yeah so my kid would a hundred thousand percent be like ma are we opening this together and then on top of that she'd then be like hey are we going to is this belongs to both of us and i'll be like oh i kind of want it to just be mine um so remints are the one toys that i'm like mm, i will not share that other toys like in the beginning, I was like, oh, I'll share, it. I'll share it with her. And like, kids have such tiny attention spans that like when she doesn't want it anymore, I'll just, it'll be mine then. Um, but it really backfired on me because I just assumed that she would take loving care of it the way I would. Um, and that absolutely has not been the case, which, you know, I haven't forced it because I'm like, you should have fun with your toys and that's what childhood is about. So... Um, if that is how you want to play, then that is how you should be allowed to play. These buttons are actually work. They're spring loaded, which is amazing. These are the stickers that go with it, which I'm absolutely not going to stick on without tweezers and or the help of husband. But yeah, I always thought like, oh, well, you know, when, <laughs> when she gets sick of these, like I have a bunch of kindy kids and shopkins that I was like, yeah, these are made for kids. They're big and they're bulky and for sure she'll be able to, um, she'll get sick of them and then I'll just take them. And that's not, that's not at all what happened. So there's one big block of ice like such that goes in here um, and looks super cool. And then there are, are there two pairs of tongs? I think they accidentally gave me two pairs of tongs because there should not be two pairs of tongs in here. And then there's like individual ice cubes so that you can pick them out which is amazing overkill but amazing so i oh my god i dropped one ice cube okay so there are four um each of these have two ice cubes and i wonder if the tongs work so let's give this a try shall we oh they work it's so satisfying <laughs> this is amazing so i always thought like when she got sick of toys, then I would, you know, then swoop in and be like, let me go put this pristine, gorgeous toy in storage, this toy that I bought for you that I thought I would eventually get back myself. And, you know, that's how I imagined it anyway. But as it turns out, it's been like, let me get this toy that has nail polish and marker all over it and see if I can even salvage it, which usually I cannot. Um, and uh, see, see what to do about that. Okay, so this 
is a character. I wonder if this drink can come out and be replaced with a spoon. I bet it can, because like who who would be holding the spoon in any of these? Like it must be able to if it does come out, it's not coming out easily, so I'm not gonna try. All right, so this is this character. He's holding a little drink. It is absolutely stunning. The details on these are so amazing. And then we have um, a drink, which has so much detail because I have the glass itself, the fun glass, and then I have the drink that slides in. <gasps> Woohoo! And does it fit perfectly? Of course it does because remit sets are so precise. So I'm just going to slide that in there and it fits perfectly to get a drink. And then I got <laughs> the little snail. So every Sumiko Garashi set has a snail and the snail um, shell is something different each time. I think, I think that's the play that they do is like the snail shell changes and this is like a service bell like ding 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 um let me see in the uh in this one what the snail is yeah so in this in this sushi set the snail shell is like a sushi roll and in every set of sumiko garashi the snail is something else and that's like some people just collect the snail i've seen i just collect the um the little shrimp tempura because it's so cute but these are <laughs> I cannot stress enough how wonderful these are. Lately, um, I've been doing therapy for a long time, talk therapy, and I moved over to um, brain spotting, brain mapping, um, and it's painful and it takes a lot more out of you, but it's quicker for PTSD. And I'm at the point where I'm finally starting to see some results and I'm not as sad all the time and I'm not as glass half empty all the time and I thought you know that that would mean that I'd be I guess I didn't know what happiness was I you know I thought the absence of sadness would be happiness and it's not you know I'm not like thrilled all the time but I'm not sad all the time now and it's um unsettling uncomfortable I don't know how to not be sad all the time um like just to have a moment to breathe and not have my mind be flooded with um like negative mind chatter where I'm like thinking terrible thoughts and now you know if I have a moment to breathe and my mind is empty it's like um, what am I supposed to fill this space with I'm not anxious and I'm not um really upset or angry or filled with shame or guilt or any of those things that I normally have and I don't know how to function and I you know I should be really thrilled and I I'm I, you know I'm happy about it not happy in general but I'm happy that I'm not sad but I don't I don't know how to function and it's been really weird for me to try to function in a space where I'm not perpetually um anxious and I think not a lot of people talk about this part of the healing process where you know you're I, you know, I don't want to say that the journey is linear where like, you know, one, one part you're negative and then you're positive, you know, the, I, I don't know how it goes, but this awkward part of the process where I'm not as negative, but I don't know how to be positive or how to, how to function as somebody who is not negative is really weird and uncomfortable and unsettling. And I'm getting a lot of grace from the people that I love and the people who are around me, who are watching me and, um, it's just made me really thankful for people like my husband and just the, the love that, uh, humans have for each other occasionally that is hard to see in a day-to-day -day situation for me anyway. So all that to say, <laughs> like toys used to bring me a lot, a lot of joy and they still do. They still bring me tons of joy, but my lows aren't as low, so my highs aren't as high. I don't touch a toy and immediately cry and think, 
now I've escaped the terribleness that is reality for two seconds. Now I touch a toy and I enjoy it. But I'm also like, you know, like my my family's in the other room and I want to go join them and be with them and be happy with them. And I think that's really cool. But I also just am so thankful, like as I'm opening these toys to have the memories of husband getting them from me from this trip and having grace for me um, through this adjustment period and what toys have meant to me and what they've brought for me in this fun journey of therapy. So yeah, it's a lot of chatter. If you were here just to look at the remints, sorry about that. Here they are. Aren't they cool? I like them a lot. <laughs> Um, I hope to see y'all later. And uh, if anybody would like to chat about anything, hit me up on Instagram. I'm at Judy dot dot dot. And that's Judy spelt the traditional way with a Y at the end. And I'll see you guys later.